hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to let's cook with ellis so on this video i'm going to share with you how i made this delicious pizza using this air fryer from wholesome so you're gonna be mind blown like this was super easy and super quick to make so if you'd like to know how i made this then do watch this video to the end to find out So guys, before I get started, I just want to show you the air fryer that I'm going to be using, which was sent to me by this company called Hosum. This air fryer, guys, is so good. I've tested it so many times. It comes with this manual, and what I like about it, inside you have different type of recipes that you can make with uh, this air fryer. And you guys, the good thing as well, you have it in so many languages. So you have it in Anglais, you have it in English, you have it in Dutch, Francais, Espanol and in Italiano. I made loads of recipes with it and I absolutely love it. I'm not saying this because they sent it to me. Everything I'm going to say on this video is my own opinion. I'll just show you how it works so you can see. So guys, for this pizza, this is what we're going to be using. I'm using pizza bread. I'm using two pizza bread because I'm making two different types of pizzas. I'll be using pepperoni, ham, scotch bonnet. <laughs> I'm going to be using some pineapple. I'll use uh, mozzarella cheese, grated cheese, and uh, I'll also be using tomato sauce. What you need to do before you, you know, start chopping everything is uh, prepare your air fryer. So I'm gonna preheat it on 180 degrees for five minutes. This is what it says on the manual as well, and I've been doing this a lot when I'm using it. I've used it about seven times so far so here we go first thing what you need to do is add your tomato sauce and then just spread it just like so like as you can see add in the cheese on top just like so okay add in the pepperoni sometimes it shifts yeah i hope it doesn't shift today I hope it literally behaves itself. I don't know if I'm putting too much cheese, but it shifts sometimes. So, this is optional, you guys, what I'm going to do here. Um, I like to add a bit of a scotch bonnet. This is my personal preference. I just like spicy things. So, I'm adding some scotch bonnet. Uh, you can add um, jalapenos, you can add green chilies, or you don't have to add any chili if you are not a fan of spicy food and if you haven't tried uh, scotch on it before honey do not even try <laughs> because it is savage honestly it's savage uh, I've been eating this for for years and years and years so my I'm used to it pretty much so so just like that look at it already can we just take the time and look at it and if you haven't liked this video please guys please take the time to like this video you guys it really helps me to grow and it just shows youtube that you're interested in my content so please support me and like this video so yeah so this is uh, pizza one done and then the next pizza we're gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna use any chili on this pizza. So I'm just gonna cut my, my ham. And then I'm gonna get my pineapple. <laughs> Some people don't like pineapple on pizza. Are you a pineapple person? <laughs> Let me know. Do you like pineapple with your pizza? Because like people, People go on like, it's so bad. I actually like it, you know? And I actually have a friend who does as well. Every time we went out, she'll actually order her pizza, a Hawaii pizza, which always had pineapple. So, pineapple is nice on pizza. So why do people, why does it have to be a debate? <laughs> so, moving on. Just like we did with the pepperoni. and add the ham i think okay so you hear that beep is the it's the air fryer actually telling me that it is 
the five minutes preheating is done and this is what I like about this uh, air fryer is that you know when you're cooking your food you will not burn it when you set it on five minutes after five minutes in a minute in like a few seconds it will literally turn off so your food will not burn you can just put it in there go by your bit see here you go so which is a tick 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 for me um, it means I can just put my food in there, time it, and then just go about my business and without worrying that the food is gonna burn, which is a really, really good thing. So it has a timer that it just turns it off, which is great. And here you go, we have pineapple pizza and we have pepperoni pizza. Guys, I actually haven't tried it with the ham pizza, but I'll try the pepperoni pizza, which tastes so good. It literally tastes amazing, like, Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna buy pizza anytime soon, so why buy it when I can just make it myself? This is so great, you can make it with your kids. And if you have, you're having Christmas party, I'll highly recommend you to save this um, into your playlist so you can just, you know, have a bunch of them for Christmas. It's just super, super easy and it just saves you time. So many things I like about this air fryer, but what I don't like about this air fryer is that this space inside is a bit too small. Like when I'm making my pizza, if you're making a batch of pizza, you can't just pour everything in there. You know, you can't pour many things in there. It just takes up a lot of space. I can't put the second one, otherwise it will just be shifting. It's just not gonna, it's just gonna ruin my presentation. So I'm just gonna add one in there. Like you can see the space, you know, could be bigger, but um, for what I need it, so it works. So I'm gonna put it in. Turn it on, 180 degrees for five minutes, you guys. Five minutes and it's done. Boom. After five minutes, we're gonna add in the pineapple one. And then that is it, guys. Five minutes and you're done. So all together to make this is just like, within 15 minutes, you're in and out the kitchen like you've never been in here. I just, I just love how quick, how convenient this is. And I really don't know if I'm gonna be using and often anytime soon because I've literally been making the, a lot of my food inside this air fryer like I've been making I've been making chicken I've made oh my days you guys you're gonna be so shocked of the stuff that you can make with this and there you have it guys you have a pepperoni pizza and pineapple pizza pineapple and ham pizza very easy to make and super quick you guys i'll highly recommend you to try this and if you have please let me know what you think of it and which one was your favorite let me know in the comment section below right so i'm gonna give you guys a bite i'm gonna give you guys a little bit i don't want you guys to call me stingy so i'm gonna share with you guys okay here you go say ah uh, Say ah, <laughs> say ah, hey, boy, no, okay, no problem. Mm. You don't only need to use um, pizza bread, you can use flatbread. I've used, I've made this with flatbread before, uh, which was amazing as well, super easy and nice. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.